Welcome to episode 1017 of Apartment Hacker. This is Mike Burnett, Apartment Hacker. is my mission to tease out human potential in the multifamily space. So I'm often asked, how do you come up with topics for Apartment Hacker? A thousand episodes, plus, minus, um, and or how do you stay abreast of everything that is going on in the multifamily space? Not everything, but the things that, that seem most germane to what's going on uh, as it relates to that world. And here's one of the things that, that I do uh, that might be helpful to you or anyone who is interested in always staying uh, in advance of what is happening in the space. So every week, throughout the week, I print, and I know for you, those, for those of you who love trees, uh, I apologize in advance, but uh, I would also say I, I do recycle. Um, so I print articles, things that I find interesting by way of websites, newsletters, and other things that I uh, that I subscribe to, and or books that I read, certainly still print magazines. Uh, there are all kinds of sources of, of information that I uh, subscribe to. Uh, but every Friday afternoon, uh, right around four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, which right now it's four forty-two, I sit down and I read through every one of these articles and I highlight things that I find interesting, interesting. And then I take those ideas and I transfer them to cards like this, right? And so at any given moment in time, and then I always put in the upper corner here what I'm gonna file that under. This particular one is under growth, right? And so I have this filing system of about 100 different categories of information that I uh, file things into and so any on any given morning I can wake up and I can pull out a stack of cards that come from big stacks of information really they are the most pertinent points and I can rifle through those cards pretty quickly and I can come up with topics that I that I want to post about um, the other thing that becomes super interesting to me over over long bits of time, this doesn't happen immediately, but over long bits of time, these cards start to bolt together. It's, Steve Jobs called it connecting the dots. I'm quite certain he did it in his mind without doing all this work, or maybe he didn't. I know. I don't know. Who knows? But I know people that are super successful in the world, like the Warren Buffetts of the world and Charlie Mungers of the world. They, they have Mark Cubans, another guy, they read, voracious readers, and they take that information and they catalog it in their head or they catalog it on cards. And at some point, all of that information comes together in the way of a nice recipe of next steps, right? Or next actions or strategies or, or opinions. That's how people become opinion leaders, right? Or people who are looked at with any level of credibility, it's because they've done all the work, right? They've done all the work. And when they say something, it has merit. Um, it, it's an opinion, certainly, unless they've done real deep masterful work, which I'm not, I'm not put myself in that category. But, but at least you can show up to a conversation with an opinion that matters because you've done all the work, you've spent the time, you've done the reps, and people can rely on what you say um, because you've done all that. It doesn't mean that they might agree with you, but it does mean that you've at least stamped your ticket, you've purchased your ticket to enter the arena of conversation in a way that is meaningful. Um, so anyway, long story short, I got off topic there for a second, but. That's what I do every Friday afternoon. I take the last hour, sometimes two hours of the day, depending on, on the workload in the week, and I just digest. It could be somewhere between 200 pages, 200 to 500 pages of stuff. This looks like a full ream of paper from this week. Um, and then I reduce that to... Any, on any given week, in any given week, I've produced somewhere between, I don't know, 50 and 100 of these these cards. And handwriting them out is another thing. I, I handwrite these things. Uh, and many times I'll put the uh, reference, right? So where I got that information goes down here, meaning a book or an article. That way, if I ever have to reference that article, I can do it in short order. But um, anyway... 
that's how I get all of that information. That's how I find topics for Apartment Hacker. That's how I can show up in most multifamily rooms on most multifamily topics and at least have an opinion that is, um, you know, at least worth, worth listening to. It doesn't mean you might agree with it, but it's at least worth listening to because it's been deeply researched uh, and formed uh, by way of several different viewpoints, not just one viewpoint. So anyway, there you go. Talk to you again soon.